Good evening. Good evening for the second time. Good evening, mister. Thank you for answering, Gustavo. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, Iris. Good evening, everybody. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, Juan Carlos. Fine, thanks. Good, good. How was your weekend, people? A little missy. Why? Uh, a lot of things to do. Okay. Were you able to finish everything? Yeah, I finished it, but I need another weekend to rest for, for, the, for the work that you did. For the, yeah. Don't worry, vacation is coming. It's coming. Yeah, will you have vacation? Yeah. Starting from the next Friday. This Friday? Yeah, this Friday. Oh, you, you work for the government? Yeah. Good, good. <laughs> so you will have like seven days off altogether, or nine yeah. days off? Nine, nine days. That's good. That's really good. That's nice. All right, so let's begin. What's today's date, people? Mm -hmm. Monday. Monday? How do you spell Monday, Krisha? N-O-N-D-E-Y. D-A-Y. D-A-Y. Monday. Okay. What is the month? Class? July. July, exactly. How do you spell July, JC? J U L A. L Y. Y. J U L Y. And what is the date? It's uh, 26. Is it 26? Yeah, it's 26. Right. How do you spell 20? G W E N N Y N T Y N T Y How do you spell 6? 6 or 6? Six? 6 S E S I X I X T H. Excellent. And what's the year class? What is the year? Two thousand twenty-one. Two thousand twenty-one. Very good. Nice. Thank you for the ones that answered. Gracias para los que respondieron. Remember speaking, participating. You will improve your English. All right, so let's begin. Do you remember the activities we spoke about on Thursday? Indirect question and in a question. Excellent. Direct and indirect questions. What time is it? Is it direct or indirect? It's direct. direct. How would you transform that question into indirect? Could you tell me Could you tell what the time, me time is? What time? Excellent. Could you tell me, do you know, how do you say de casualidad? Ah, uh, no me acuerdo. <laughs> uh, 
So that is another form to start indirect questions. So you say, by any chance, by any chance, ahí se está diciendo de casualidad. How do you say de casualidad tiene un cambio en un billete de 20? It's a question. Uh -huh. uh, uh, indirect or indirect? Uh, just like that. De casualidad tiene cambio en un billete de 20. Híjole. Uh -huh. How do you say the casualidad in English? By any, By any chance. By any chance. Tiene cambio. By any chance. You have could, you, change? could you have changed? <laughs> could you have changed in a 20, a 20 uh, bill? Bill? Yeah. By any chance, do you have change for a $20 bill? O antes de subirse al bus, usted le pregunta al motorista, ¿tiene cambio en uno de 10? By any chance, do you have change for a 10? Y la respuesta debería ser sí. Porque ellos son los que trabajan con dinero, con efectivo. Pero con uno se enojan cuando uno anda a acabar. <risa> That's not fair. ¿Qué sucede en los Estados Unidos? ¿A quién le da el dinero usted cuando se sube al bus? The machine? No, machine. Nunca he ido a Estados Unidos. <laughs> the driver, the driver, he never touches money. He never touches money. Y si digamos el pasaje vale 1.80 y usted solo anda un billete de 5, ¿cómo va a ser? What happens? Va a tener que meter ah. el billete de 5 y adiós, ¿cómo cambio? Pero ya eso, it's another culture. So la gente sabe que tiene que andar cabal. Anyway, all right. Uh, any questions about uh, direct and indirect? No? I don't have. Okay. Do you remember the pronunciation of ED in simple past? Do you remember the three possibilities? No se acuerda. Yes. ¿Por qué están callados? ¿Quién nos regañó? Que, que no se dice así, pues. Y de qué? No, pero digamos, digamos, fixed. How do you pronounce that in fast? Fixed. Ah ah. Fixed. Ah ah. Vibration. Ah. Clean it. Now listen Clean. carefully. Listen, listen carefully. Les digo esto porque el tema de ahora tiene que ver mucho con esto. Y la, the first exercise that you guys will do right now, it's directly connected to this. The past tense of fix is fixed. Fixed. What is the sound of the ED? T. T. The past tense T. of the past tense of clean is cleaned. 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 What is the E D pronunciation? Cleaned. D. D. The past tense of need is needed. 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 Uh -huh. ¿Cómo suena la E D? Literalmente, así como se oye, así como se escribe, así se pronuncia. Esa ID es el símbolo fonético. El símbolo fonético no se pronuncia, no se escribe como verdaderamente se pronuncia. So, needed. Needed. Any questions about this? Do you remember the image that I shared? with the three different possibilities. Yes. Mm -hmm. Cada cuanto revise ese documento. 
Tres veces yeah. al día. Very good. Nice. <laughs> Dos veces Salud. al día. Good. Very good. Antes de dormirse. That's nice. Good. Excellent. So, good. Entonces, cuando usted está leyendo ese documento, usted tiene que ir a, a ¿cómo se llama? Pro, practicándolo. Practicándolo. So, we say, yesterday I fixed my bicycle. No va a decir, I fixed my bicycle. We'll say, I fixed my bus. I cleaned my house. No va a decir, I cleaned my house. Va a decir, I cleaned my house. And, usted decía, necesitaba hablar con usted. I needed to speak with you. So, three different sounds. De corazón le recomiendo que... Mire ese documento cuando usted pueda. Ese documento le va a ayudar a hablar de manera natural. Y usted ya nunca va a volver a decir fixed, ni va a decir clean it, ni wash it, ni play it. People will understand you, but that's, that's not good. It's not good. All right, so. Los voy a poner a trabajar en pareja and you will talk about your weekend. When you talk about the activities you did on the weekend, if the information is positive, you need to pronounce ED accurately, correctly, perfectly, so you sound as natural as possible. As possible. Give me a second. Thank you for being present. Recuerden que la otra semana, we don't have classes, it's vacation, so please, Try to be present every day this week. And um, so you guys practice more. Let me see this here. ¿Y cuáles son las instrucciones? Si su compañero no le responde, usted inmediatamente me llama y lo cambio de salón. Here we go. Vamos a hablar acerca de las actividades que usted hizo el fin de semana. Let's do this. <laughs> Hello, Krisha. Hello, teacher. How are you? You're alone. Okay, let me put you in a different classroom. Okay, thank you. Uh -huh. Right there.
¿Qué pasa? Hello, Aide. Aide, Aide. ¿Cómo dijo que no escuché? ¿Ahora me escuchan bien? Yes. Sí, ahorita sí. Well, I repeat all I said, all right? Ok, uh, ok. Yeah. All right. Uh, I repeat all I said. Uh, all right. Uh, I'm going to the gym. That it's... Um, before... Uh, after, sorry, watch the game with our friends and spend time with their... He, he, yesterday try try to rest. Yeah, that that's play soccer. Do you like play soccer? I like watch play soccer, but don't practice. Um, my ebook. Um, I don't know. I don't have. This document. Uh, so, um, what more do did you do in your weekend? What else? What else did you do in your weekend? Oh, what else? Yes. Okay. What else? Uh -huh. Mm -hmm. I am in my house. No, uh, in the house, uh, my uncle. Oh, yes. Ah, por eso decía. Use user for the reason yeah, because... very important to, to, to later. Yeah, because and yesterday maybe... I was. Yeah, maybe Just when you I was watching it. some meat video. Okay, yeah. that's good. Because in a normal in a normal yeah. conversation, maybe not. Uh, they're not um, grammatical conversation. It's more uh, using using uh, some. Uh, yeah, it's more casual. Okay, that's that's the word. More casual. Yeah, are very useful. Yeah. 
question for the um i know i know see i don't i know i know see our olympic game nothing me too i didn't see can you daphne uh, some uh, sports like um tiro al eh, como no sé flechas no sé cómo se dice tiro al blanco I don't know. Yes. tiro con arco tiro con, tiro con arco I don't know in English yes I, I don't say, I don't know in say English yes only that I think and uh -huh. eh, oh, um, do you like okay, that no, for sorry. I don't like because I have interview what do you study? Now just English because I have been sorry English three years ago, but I couldn't finish the, the study. Is the, the reason is the reason for your English is very well, but <laughs> yes, um, I, I I'm understand. <laughs> Yeah, but I'm trying because I forgot some words, really. Yes, it's, it's really necessary for uh, for work. And yeah, because I was working in the ONG, and, but I needed full English because the ONG was just with American
right, everybody's coming back. Teacher. Yes. I don't have the document with the verb okay. pronouns. Okay, let, let, let me see if I can find it right now. So I can share it back with um, everybody. Sharing WhatsApp or for email? Uh, it, it was shared in WhatsApp. Let me see this here. I have the document. You, you have the document? Uh, no, no, I haven't. Okay, give me a second. Okay, can you see the document that I'm sharing in this moment? Yes. Yes, teacher. Okay. Uh, so yes, you can... teacher. All right, give me a second. <laughs> Copy. And... paste right there did you receive it yes you sure all Go right ahead. nice yes. okay so there we explain um, the three different uh, possibilities when we are pronouncing ed so once again, no more wash it. You say washed. You don't say no more rub it. You say rubbed. And then if the termination of the verb is D or T, then you pronounce ED uh, exactly the same way you write it. Please read the document again. If for some reason you need extra explanation, let me know and uh, I will explain to you. All right. How do you say, me gustaría jugar basketball? I like play basketball. I would like to play basketball. I would like play basketball. Okay. How do you say, imagine you're speaking with your sister or your brother there in New York. And then mm -hmm. you tell them, desearía que estuvieras acá. I wish, wish you, you were here. here. I wish I you were here. This song I of Pink wish... Floyd. <laughs> right, wish you were, wish here. You were here. How do you say, desearía estar yo allá? I wish I'd be there. I wish I were there. Uh, when we talk about wishes, in English, it is mandatory that we use the simple past structure. How do you say, me gustaría escribir más? I wish. I wish to write, write, write a lot. I wish to write, no, I wish to write more. more. Okay, listen carefully. Look at the chat. I wish. I wrote more. I wish I wrote more. I wish I wrote what is more. the form of, 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 of write? Past. Past. I wish I walked five miles. How do you say that one in Spanish? I wish I walked five miles. Me gustaría caminar cinco millas. Me gustaría caminar cinco millas. Ok. How do you say me gustaría no fumar? I would like. I wish not I wish. I, didn't smoke. I wish I, I wish. didn't smoke. I wish I didn't smoke. I didn't Excellent. smoke. Excelente. Okay. Oye, una pregunta en español. Yeah. Este. Yeah. Entonces, es, es prácticamente que siempre el verbo va a ir en pasado. Si no uso el did, por supuesto. Exactly. If the sentence is positive, the form of the verb is always in past. If the information is negative, 
the structure is in past and then you use didn't. I wish I didn't smoke. Mm -hmm. So when you talk about mm -hmm. wishes, positive or negative, you use the simple past form. How do you say me gustaría que dijeras la verdad? Que me dijeras la verdad. I wish I told you. You told me. You told me. I wish you told me the truth. I wish you told me the truth. I wish you told me the truth. Does that example sound familiar? Yes. Ya les han dicho varias veces, ¿verdad? I wish you told me the truth, Francisco. I wish you told me the truth, Isidro. I wish you told me the truth, Juan Carlos. No, but other Juan Carlos, other Isidro. Not, not the ones from here. Other class. Okay, so anyways, when you talk about wishes, you must use the simple past tense. How do you say desearía simple no past. ocupar lentes? I wish I didn't use... I wish I didn't use glasses. Um, glasses? Yes. I, wish I wish I didn't, I didn't use, use glasses. glasses. You can say didn't use or you can say didn't wear. How do you say me gustaría no decir malas palabras? I, I wish I didn't say bad words. Exactly. Pero por supuesto eso no aplica con ustedes. I'm, I'm talking about another class, another group. <laughs> I know that nobody says bad words here. Good, that's yeah. my class. That's my yeah. 8 to 9 p.m. Correct. class. <laughs> it's correct. <laughs> All right, good. So, any questions on how to express wishes? I have a question, mister. Yes, ask me, Gustavo. What about... Um, like when you say I wish, it's, it's like in Spanish, yo desearía. Uh -huh. Pero si usted dice yo quisiera, eh, I ya wish. no es un deseo. No. Bueno, usted dice desearía, yo quisiera. In Spanish is the same. But you can say, uh -huh. uh, yeah. I, would, uh, I would like or I would want pero ya no aplica el pasado, sino que este es exclusivamente uh, para cuando dice yeah. wish. Ok. That's the, the question. That's the question. What is the difference that I will, that I wish? wish. Uh -huh. uh, I, I would makes the verb into a hypothetical situation. Te diría, te llevaría, te compraría, Haría. te lo prestaría, lo haría. It's hypothetical. Buscaría. Ajá, uh -huh. exacto. So, uh, yeah. in wish is something that you have inside of you. So, I wish I didn't okay. use glasses. What is the problem with if like you a, use glasses? A... Yes, Isidro. Isidro? Es como un, uh, sí. wish, sorry, it's, it's a feeling. It's like uh, one, yeah, and it's like uh, the birth to the, the uh, it's like Austria. Could be, could be. It's not an auxiliary exactly, yeah. but it's it's something that is not true. It's hypothetical. So, so how, yeah. Uh huh. So the 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 the, 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 the structure of the sentence for when I use I wish mm -hmm. it's mandatory only for wish. That, that's okay. Then you have to use the simple it's past it's tense. Okay. Simple past. Okay. That's yeah. Okay. Okay, how do you say, me gustaría que usted pudiera estar aquí? I wish you were here. I wish you could be here. You could be here. Yeah, you could be here. Yep. So, yes, I did. I wish, I wish is, desearía o me gustaría, o las dos cosas. De desearía, me gustaría, same thing, same okay. thing. Thing. Right? Okay. Yes, Edith. The structure, the, the sentence is fear the subject after the auxiliary wish after the soldier other other time. Yes. Yes. And after the second subject 
the bear in park. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> always pass, in fact. Always in pass. But, but when when I use the auxiliary do, did, uh, the verb is in base form. Right, but it's a, the topic is a little bit different. When we're talking about wishes, you have to use wish plus the past tense uh, structure. For example, my wife tells me, me gustaría que usted no trabajara los domingos. How would you say that one in English? I wish you didn't work on Sunday. I wish you didn't work. Didn't work. I wish you didn't work on Sundays. How do you say, me gustaría que usted fuera más honesto? I wish I you were you I wish you were more honest. More honest, exactly. More honest. Uh, mm -hmm. Can you repeat the I wish example, you were please. more honest? Yeah. I more wish honest. you were you were not you were, were. The, you were the past of verb to be exactly you were more honest. Okay. I wish you were more yeah. honest. Eso cada rato se ve en películas. I wish you were more honest. And then people start crying. <laughs> you broke my heart. You play with my feelings. Anyways. I wish you weren't. You weren't. I wish you weren't too honest. Porque mire, en El Salvador... Ser honesto y decir la verdad muchas veces nos trae problemas. <laughs> yeah. So, vamos a escribir ese. I wish you weren't you want. too honest. Digamos, lo para la policía y le dice, have you been drinking? Y usted dice, es malo mentir, voy a decir la verdad. Yes, I drank, officer. So, <laughs> se lo llevan y después le dicen, I wish you weren't too honest. Right? Yeah. So, when you're talking about wishes, positive or negative, you must use the simple past structure. Okay. Questions or comments? A ver, todos me van... Yes, ask me, Carlos. Uh, I wish using only pass. Using. Uh, when, I wish. When you're using wishes, um, you have to use the simple pass structure. Okay, teacher. Thanks. Yes. Anybody hey. else? Teacher. Yep. Uh, the, the, the auxiliary wish is no no they use the the past no no ahora si yo si usted ve a alguien y usted le dice yo te decía buena suerte then you say i wish to yes, it's no. different it's, okay. it's different este wish lo ocupamos para hablar cosas hipotéticas hypothetical como auxiliar Eh, no es como un auxiliar, pero es desearía, me gustaría. Yeah. Any questions? How do you say me gustaría ir al parque? I would love to go to I park. wish. I wish. I wish. I go. Go. No. Go to the park. I go to the park. I went to the park. I went to the park. Listen to this. When you're talking about wishes, you must use the simple past structure. It's mandatory. How do you say me gustaría tener dinero? I wish I had money. I wish I had money. Money? I wish I had money. Yeah. Yes, it is. Me gustaría que no se me olvidara. 
Siempre me gustaría que no... Oh, I wish I didn't forget. Yes. Yes. I didn't forget. Okay, someone, someone said teacher. Again, someone had a question? No. No, teacher. Ok, so everybody, fíjense bien, tengo a 20 personas conectadas ahorita. Everybody me va a escribir una oración, positiva o negativa, como usted quiera, about your life. Puede hablar acerca de su vida familiar, su vida académica, su vida laboral, su vida en su vecindario, anything. So everybody will write one sentence. Yo voy a empezar. I wish I lived in San Salvador. ¿Dónde vivo yo ahorita? Where do I live? ¿Quién se acuerda? Miguel. En Lourdes. I live in Lourdes. Lourdes. London, exactly. En inglés Lourdes se dice London. Very good. So, okay, so I live in London. Pero esas trabazones que se hacen en los chorros, que muchas veces digo, I wish I lived in San Salvador. ¿Qué dice ahí? I wish I lived in San Salvador. Ajá. ¿Desearía vivir en San Salvador? Exactly. Ahora bien, sí. cada uno de ustedes escríbame algo. Let's go. Okay. I wish I had vacations. I wish I went to travel. Ajá. I wish I had more time to spend with my baby. Excellent. I wish I knew the snow. Good. Uh-huh. I have four people. Cuatro han escrito nomás. I wish I were at the beach. Remember, past tense. Tiene que ocupar el past tense. I wish I were at the beach. Very good. I wish I didn't rain this day. I wish it didn't rain. Very good. I wish... I had, past tense, a Ferrari car. I wish I traveled to Europe. I wish I had a car. I wish I went to travel around the, like, Recito Comunica. Okay. I wish I slept more hours. I wish I lived more closer to my work. I would like to go on vacation to Peru. I wish I learned more English. I wish I had a good job. I wish I had a dog. Okay. So, un aproximado de 16 personas se escribieron. Y las otras cuatro. Ella hey, no. Ay, que escriban los otros. Yo no, dicen. Yo ya, yo ya soy full English. Ok, good. Yeah. All right. Questions or comments, people. I wish I went to the beach. Me too. Tengo mucho tiempo de no ir a la playa y tengo que regresar. Serious. For that quarantena, teacher. Not really. Fíjese que... Hace, right. No sé si les conté que tuve COVID-19. No. Um, fue, no, really? fue a inicio de mayo. I don't remember. Mayo, no. junio. So, no he ido a la playa como en tres meses. So, I need to go back. Oh, so it's a short time. It's not a long time. Oh, but I usually went like every three weeks. Oh, okay. Every three weeks. Once a month. Once a month. Mm -hmm. I wish I went to the mountain. I wish I went to the beach. Very good. Nice. Okay. Excellent. Yes. I have a question. Ask me, Carla. Um, um, how to use I would? I would is, uh, yo te diría, yo te ayudaría, yo te pagaría, yo iría, te diría. It's hypothetical. Uh -huh. Pero ese I would es, es, es bien improbable que se dé. Mm -hmm. Por ejemplo, usted dice, I would pay you, but I don't have money. I would pay you, I would pay you, but I don't have money. Okay, thanks. Yep. Any questions? Okay. Que pudiéramos utilizar, um, I would like to go to the beach on vacation. Yep. Yes, you can. And can okay. I use, I would like to travel to another country. Sure. Which country okay. would you like to visit, Carla? Mm, Suecia. Sweden. Sweden. Hey, nomasito, quiere ir. Sí. Good. Around the world, maybe. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. 
Yep. But it's uh, expensive, right? Yeah, but it depends where you go. Yeah. ustedes han ido a Nicaragua? How many people have visited Nicaragua? Me. Me. Nicaragua Ever. is a nice place. It's a beautiful yeah. place and it's cheap. It's mm -hmm. cheap. Yes, but the weather is, it's raining all day. <laughs> yeah, it's a, it's, a, it's a nice place. Uh, yeah. And it's near. Mm -hmm. So if Nicaragua is cheap, if you compare with Costa Rica, Costa Rica is very expensive. Yeah. Yeah. Costa Rica is that. extremely expensive. Extremely expensive. Um, so anyways, so put it on Nicaragua. Puede ir a Guatemala, even Mexico. But I love yeah. Nicaragua in particular. Nicaragua is a very beautiful country. Mm, I, uh, in Nicaragua, the fruit and vegetable is very very cheap. Yep. Uh -huh. the, uh, dairy products too. Mm -hmm. Dairy products. What's yeah. the meaning of dairy products? Ellos lo producen. Huh? Ellos lo producen. No, dairy products. Productos diarios. Ah, 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 ah. Productos eh, de uso diario. Basic. Ah, 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 ah. ah dairy. Eh, eh, de no, teacher. Repeat the, the question, please. Dairy products. What's the meaning? <laughs> póngale en, el, en Google diario. Images y póngale dairy products. <laughs> Productos lácteos. Daily. Lácteos, exacto. Ah, ah. <risa> ah, pero está bien porque reconoce daily diarios y la verdad uh -huh. que es una letra la diferente. Uh -huh. So, dairy uh -huh. products, uh -huh. cream, cheese, butter, cottage, all those things are milk. Product. Milk, right. Butter. Ah, oh, no, no, Butter. Butter. The <risa> Yep. Dairy products are delicious. Yes. Very delicious. I I remember when uh -huh. I remember when I was I was eating gallo pinto or something like that. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah. I don't like <laughs> caballo bayo. Sí. <laughs> yeah. Nicaragua is a beautiful place. I have visited Nicaragua like four different times. And every time that I go, I enjoy it very yeah. much, very much. And you don't need company. You don't need company. Mm -hmm. You yeah. can enjoy it alone. <laughs> yeah. And you have find company there. Yeah, right. You can find a, a Nicaraguan company. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Questions or maybe Isidro can take us to Dominican Republic. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What part of Dominican Republic are you from, Isidro? The East. The East. What's the name of the place? La Romana. Romana City. Almana. La Romana. Oh, La Romana. Good. Good. Romana. Oh, La Romana. Yeah. Nice. All right. Good. When was the last time you were in Dominican Republic, Isidro? Uh, Almost three years ago. Okay. You have family there in yeah. Dominican Republic? Yeah. My okay. Four families there. Good, good. Does your family ever come to visit El Salvador? Not yet. Not yet. Uh, no. I was trying to come with my mother, but due to the uh, quarantine. Yeah. You canceled impossible. it. Yeah. yeah. Okay. All right, good. All right, so ya tienen una invitación todos para ir a República Dominicana, él lo dijo. Yeah. <laughs> so you only need to pay your plane ticket, play your hotel. Oh my gosh. Oh. I don't want to travel. Yeah. It's awesome. Yeah. 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 You, Dominican maybe, Republic is a nice country too. Mm. Yeah. Have you heard speaking about uh, 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 Punta Cana? No? Yeah, uh, Punta Cana, mm. yeah. Puerto Plata. And oh. People say that it's a good place to meet. Santiago los right. Caballeros. Yeah. Yeah, Nica uh, Dominican Republic has some beautiful places. Mm. I have never visited that place, but I wish I could. I wish I could. 
Yeah. Maybe in the future, maybe next year. Who knows? Nobody knows. Cuando, cuando mis hijos cumplan todos los 18 años. <laughs> y el último tiene cuatro. <laughs> anyway, all right, so I'm going to put you to work. We have seven more minutes para que usted exprese sus deseos de cómo gustaría ver a El Salvador. Por ejemplo, I wish El Salvador had more opportunities. I wish El Salvador were bigger. I wish El Salvador had more investment. Todo lo que usted le diría a alguien cuando viene en campaña política a decirles que necesitan, why, 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 and all that. So, let me make the rooms. Break the rooms. comments, teacher. What is it? <laughs> it's a politic comment. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I, uh, I wish El Salvador were a country free of violence. Yeah, good. I wish El Salvador yeah. was a country free of violence. Yeah. I think that all Salvadorians have the same wish. Yeah. It's the feeling. Yeah. It's the feeling yeah. Of every... yeah. Yeah. So you can say, I wish all Central America were one country. You know, yeah. yeah, I wish countries didn't have borders, you know, all right, so countries didn't have borders. ¿Qué dije ahí? Zona John Lennon, so no frontera, borders. Yeah, que no tuvieran frontera. This was wonderful. <laughs> all right, so let's do this. Talk about the wishes about El Salvador.
All right, people. Any questions or comments about wishes? No question, teacher. No. Okay, so we continue tomorrow, same place, same time. Try to be present every day. Remember, next week is vacation. So take advantage. Have a good night. Bye bye. Bye bye. Good night. Bye. Good night. 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 Good night.